Guys, as many of you know, COVID-19 has led to some major shutdowns in our society. One of them being that the SAT last weekend on March 14th was canceled for a number of students. And so what I'm gonna talk about in this video this week is how coronavirus, COVID-19, whatever you wanna call it, is likely to affect your SAT or ACT testing schedule. I'm gonna talk through a few scenarios because we don't totally know at this point. I don't think anyone knows exactly what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna talk through some of the scenarios that could happen just to get you guys in a prepared mindset for moving forward, prepping for your tests, and making sure that you have awesome chances of getting into the colleges that you guys wanna get into. If you're wondering who I am, my name is Brooke. I've been teaching and tutoring the SAT and the ACT for over a decade and a half. I've coached students to perfect scores on both exams. You can learn more about what we do at supertutortv.com. But what I wanna to talk to you is those people who are on our online course. A quick note to you, if you were prepping for the March test and your course expired close to the March test because you were planning to prep to it and then take it and be done, and you didn't get to take your test, we do have a policy that accounts for that situation. We will extend your course for free until you are able to officially register. Shoot us an email and we'll get you hooked up. So just to let everybody know on that. For the rest of you, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I do post articles much more quickly than we can make videos. So when I hear news, like when I heard about the coronavirus closing, some SAT test centers, I posted that link. So if you're interested in getting that kind of information, make sure you plug into our social channels at SuperTutorTV is our handle. So check that out as well. Cool. So let's talk. Hundreds of test centers closed last week. A lot of them are international. A lot of countries have shut down the entire SAT test for the entire country. But now these cancellations are hitting the US as well. And at domestic test centers, whether they're in California or New York or somewhere in between, as many of you know, a lot of test centers closed and a lot of test centers are closing. So now the College Board has announced that the May SAT is entirely canceled, as are all makeup exams for the March test. So if you didn't get in on the 14th, if you were lucky enough to take it on the 14th, well, cool, you logged an SAT score. For the rest of us, all those March 28th makeup tests are totally canceled. The May SAT is canceled and it's just not happening. So what next? The College Board has announced on Twitter that they're going to be issuing refunds to everybody who had signed up. The College Board will provide future additional SAT testing opportunities for students as soon as feasible in place of the canceled administrations. Hooray! So this is really good news. The College Board has basically said we're canceling the May SAT, but good news, we're going to offer you another shot at taking the SAT. Don't worry, the College Board really wants you to take their test. So I know some of you are like, oh my gosh, is like all, are all colleges going test optional? Do I not have to take the SAT anymore? <laughs> no. That's not the case. Chances are colleges and universities are going to want you to take the SAT. They just might extend the uh, time period in which you have to do it. So even if their application deadline is October 31st, if for some reason our world is shut down through that point in time, well, then they will let you submit your SAT score later when you have an opportunity to actually take it. It's also great news that the College Board wants to offer more administrations of the exam and opportunities because that means that you're not totally screwed over if you miss the March test and the May test and then you only have like one day where you can take the SAT and if you screw it up, your life is over. So that's great news from the College Board. They have not yet canceled the June 6th test, 2020, and they will continue to assess its status with the health and safety of students and educators as a top priority. ACT has also canceled its April 4th test administration in the same way that the College Board has canceled its test. The next national test date for the ACT is in June. So you've got a little bit of a break to study up before that June test. In terms of AP exams, I know some of you are wondering about those too, and I'm just gonna mention this really quickly. They're working to try to communicate details of solutions. They have talked about doing on line testing for the AP exams and at home testing options. But as you can see, they're trying to create some additional ways that you can make it work 
because they know a lot of people's educations are being disrupted right now and they want to give you that opportunity. The second thing to remember is that this isn't just a game about when the College Board or ACT are going to be able to administer a test to you. It's also a question of what colleges are going to do about this whole situation. Now, colleges know that there's a lot of things out of your control right now. They know that a lot of you wanted to go take the SAT in March and you couldn't. Most U.S. colleges and universities have made clear that they're not going to punish you guys for anything that's outside of your control. So like if you can't take the SAT, they're not gonna like majorly punish you for it and they're probably going to have alternative policies, workarounds, they will extend deadlines, etc. In the past, when natural disasters or other situations have hit particular groups of students, and this is just from my research, like I researched what happened in Hurricane Katrina when students were applying to college, or some sort of other kind of displacement from a natural disaster, the general rule of thumb has been with colleges and universities that they extend deadlines for you if you need it. So if you weren't able to take the test, they're gonna let you take it at a later time and fill in your application at a later date. And that's usually been how they've dealt with it. Obviously, all those disasters only affected a small segment of the population that was applying to that college. So we're not 100% sure how it's going to work with colleges and universities moving forward with the SAT and ACT, because who knows when these tests are going to be broadly available to everyone again. It could be, you know, the July ACT, it could be the August SAT. We're not 100% sure. And that's not to say that some schools won't become test optional this year. A few might, but I wouldn't count on the entire college admission system moving away from standardized tests immediately just given that sort of historical precedent where in the past like because it's affecting so many people like everybody is getting pushed and so the more likely thing is rescheduling of some sort once everything's back in gear making sure that you have an opportunity to take that test i know some of you find this frustrating but there's sort of two things to look at here one there's like how is the college board handling the situation and they're going to just keep pushing test dates rescheduling stuff trying to find new dates and the truth is this coronavirus shutdown, like it's not gonna last forever. We don't know how long it's going to last. If we wanna take a cue from the 1918 flu pandemic, schools were closed during that from anywhere a little less than a month to up to like three or four months on average. So that's kind of the range from our history. We don't know though. China, a lot of their schools have been closed since early February, some even earlier. The rural provinces are just starting to reopen their schools now. So that's like kind of that month and a half marker. But we have no idea with the more populated areas, the more hard hit areas in China, we have no idea how long they're going to take. There is some good news here if you're an international student. And that's that now that the United States is being impacted by COVID-19, it's a little bit more of a level playing field standardized test wise for you guys because everyone's dealing with it. And then you're not going to get sideswiped by colleges and universities in the sense that you'll only have one chance to take the SAT. I think that's the part that's probably most stressful for you guys. Like, you're all gonna have the opportunity to take this test before you actually apply to college in most cases or in most likelihood. But the question is, will you be able to take it multiple times? Will you be able to make sure that you get the score you want? Will you be able to know that as you study up to that test date, whether you're gonna be able to walk through that door or not and take the test or not? Those are the kind of more stressful questions that I know are impacting you guys and it's kind of annoying and that's the reality that you're living in and I'm sorry. And finally, the other thing, like I said, is it's not just like you can't take the SAT and everything else is humming along normally. The bigger issue at hand is actually the fact that school is canceled. And if school is canceled, you guys can't finish junior year. And if you can't finish junior year, you can't get the high school grades you need to get into college. So there's a much bigger issue on the horizon that's actually probably a much bigger concern than just you can't take the SAT or the ACT. Remember the domino that's driving this whole effect. It's not just that you can't take a standardized test, it's that our entire educational system is being upended right now. So we don't know exactly what's gonna happen in this next, next admission cycle. I'm gonna talk more about that, how COVID-19 is probably gonna affect the entire college admission cycle and some different scenarios that could happen in our video next week, so be sure to tune in that's of interest to you. I'm going to talk about it in a little bit more broad light. But in the meantime, what can you do? Well, you can study for the SAT or the ACT because a lot of you probably are off school. So what a better time to prep for these things and make sure you have it under your belt because they're probably not going away. And you probably will have a chance to take one of them before you apply to college. So my advice would be use this time if you're sequestered at home 
to study up and get it in. And whether you're doing self-study and you have zero budget and you wanna watch our YouTube channel and get some self-study tips, that's awesome. Or whether you're doing an online course or whatever it is that you're going to do to make sure that you're prepared, it's a great time to do it. And two, don't worry too much. Again, you are all in this together. Everybody out there is dealing with a lot of these issues and you are not the only one. So, you know, whether you're a international student and you're dealing with this situation or you're in the US, at this point it's affecting so many people. It's definitely something that all colleges and universities are going to take into account and they're going to be understanding and we're all gonna figure this out, okay? That's about all. Good luck, you guys. I hope you guys like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. What happened to you and your SAT? Tell us below this video. What are your thoughts? What are your predictions? Let us know what you think, and I will see you guys next time. Stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye.